Hey guys, now I just recently cut this branch off of a, of a tree. Now what's going to happen to this? Well, it's going to wither and die. Why? Because it's cut off from the life source. It's cut off from the very thing that's giving it life, that's feeding it nutrients, that's allowing it to live. Now this is a little bit of a picture of what happened to mankind. You see, God is the very source of life. And mankind, when they sinned, when they rebelled against God, they were broken off from Him. They turned away from the very source of life. They were um, disconnected from Him because of their sin. We, we sin against God. All of us have sinned against God. And God is holy and just. And righteous and and we have disobeyed him and, and been broken off from that life source we've all sinned and, and this thing is gonna wither and die there's no question about it and the Bible says that we are all dead in our trespasses you know this body is gonna die one day it's dying and mankind is spiritually dead because they're cut off from the source of life now, I remember when I was young, my grandfather, what he used to do is, he used to take a, a branch from one tree, like uh, an orange tree, and he used to connect it to a lemon tree. And that lemon tree used to give that branch life again. And, and it would, well, it wasn't dead, you know, he put it on while it was alive. And uh, it would, this lemon tree would have one branch that actually made oranges. And that's called grafting. Okay, you can take a branch and, and connect it to the to a, to a tree, and um, that's a little bit of a picture of what Jesus has done for us. You see, Jesus has reconnected us to the life source. He came and he paid with his blood for our sins, justifying us, and then he. So, so, and then he, he rose from the dead, conquering death. And whoever believes in him is connected to him. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. He is the way for peace with God. He, for our sins are forgiven. We're cleansed. Uh, we're reunited with God. More than that, we're made children of God. And we can live in a relationship with God. God puts his spirit in us and life flows in us once again. We're not a branch that's about to die, wither and die. We are reconnected. We're connected to the vine. We're connected to Jesus. Connected to God. And life once again flows from him through us. As long as we abide in him, as long as we're in him, we're alive in Christ. And that is good news. But the only way that that can happen, the only way you can be reconnected, is through faith in Jesus. By trusting what he did on that cross, that knowing that no matter how hard you try in your own efforts and your own strength, you can't reconnect to God because we're sinful. But in order to receive this gift, we need to turn away from our sinful lives and turn toward God. You turn away from the way that you've been living your life in sin. And you say, Lord, I want to live for you now. I want to be reconnected to you. I want to have peace with you. And I trust in Jesus and his sacrifice to cleanse me and reunite me to you. Because, and in him we have eternal life. And, and now he put his spirit in us, which changes our desires. So we no longer want to live as enemies of God. But we want to obey him out of love. And we want to love our neighbor. Not so that we can gain something. But because just as God loved us, we're inspired and driven and moved to love others. I hope this video has blessed you guys. Take care.